check this out. Got another plane to show you. Can't wait to see this one. Look at this beautiful bird. Oh, look at this. F-16 by XK. Should be one good flyer. Can't wait to fly this. Nice looking box. Very nice. Because we know how good the F-22 flies. So this should be the same. There's specifications there. Wingspan, 310 millimeters. Length, 405. Well, guessing that's the all up weight, 65 grams. We should weigh that. 400 milliamp battery. Oh, this is only one cell. Is it? One cell. Oh, I thought it was two cell. That's disappointing. Let's have a look. There she is. Oh, I've got some foam in here. Very nice. Looks like we've got some assembly to do. There's our upright tail. Should just screw in easy. Looks nice enough. How do we get it out? Here we go. Look at the colours on that. Not too bad. No rubber on the tip. This is all foam. Beautifully painted. Looks nice. Here we go underneath. Bit hard to open. There we go. What battery have we got? 400 milliamp, one cell. Wonder why they've gone with one cell. You can see there. There's the other F22 battery. It's two cells, and then this new one is only one cell. I didn't know that. That's a shame. I was hoping it'd be nice and fast. Well, there you go. Oh, we can get to under the hatch there, I guess. Oh, that's where our tail, tail screws into there. That's an easy assembly. Oh, look at this. We've got little kinks in our rod here. Not too bad. They're not bad clevises too, actually. They do, um, are easy to adjust. Motor's in the back of this one. Yeah, the fins hang down, don't they? We have got some spars running through here. Painted over so you can't see them. That's all right. Oh, not too bad. Oh, rear elevator is really is a bit of an angle. We'll have to check that because the last one didn't fly out of the box. So I have to double check everything on this one because I did get caught. Check out my other video. I'll show you how to set it all up. Reason why it didn't fly out of the box. But hopefully this one will fly straight out of the box. Bit disappointing as only one sells. Just got to try and get that to squeeze in the foam. Nice tight fit.
Beautiful. Probably doesn't even need a screw in it. That's never going to come off. Looks better now, doesn't it? Beautiful. I like this shape. This is a fast shape, isn't it? I was hoping it was going to be two cell. I have to say I'm a little disappointed now. I have to go back and read the description. See what it says. I mustn't have looked at the battery size. There's our radio. This one's working okay. Nice and free. Standard XK radio. Nothing wrong with that. Our rates up the top. And our 6G 3D mode there. Very nice. Of course you know, it comes with a gyro, fully stabilised in the 6G mode. That's all I'll be flying this in, in the fully stabilised mode. That's all you need, because they, they get away from you pretty quick. So you, you need the self-level mode, for sure. What have we got in our little packet? A little bit different USB charger here. No lead on this one. Plug it straight in the back there. They're good looking wheels these. Plastic. And double wheeled. Not too bad at all. Nose wheel's nice too. It's got the little spring thing too. Helps it in the landing. And of course a spare prop. We always like that. And we get two screws and a trusty screwdriver. Pity they don't give you two batteries. You know, be a lot better. There we go as a comparison. E Shane 400 milliamp one cell battery as a size comparison. And it does fit in the hatch fine fits in there perfect so if you've got any other models with these one cell batteries they should be the same and they do last a long time we've been impressed you know we've had a couple of these for you know a couple of years and there's still nothing wrong with them and we fly them too until they fall out of the sky there's a size comparison with the XK F22, this one's probably slightly bigger, and this is two cell. Here's the comparison. Not by much, but it makes a difference. Oh, and I forgot the F22 has the lights on the bottom. Motors in the centre there. This one's got the motor on the back. This even could be just a brushed motor as well. But this one's a brushless motor. Yes. I have crashed this one and broken the nose off. It was a clean break. I just used tack glue or contact glue and it stuck down easy. All you need is some four AA batteries for your radio. That's all you need to ready to fly. We're already on. Grab our battery. Black goes to the back. Nothing to see here. There we go, we're bound. Just like that.
this button here should be high and low rate. This low rate. Double bip should be high rate. Now you need to check before you hit the throttle that your control surfaces are dead level. Well they look level to me. They are going up. Obviously it needs a little bit of reflex to fly. Maybe up a fraction. You see there's no gyro until I hit the throttle. Now the gyro is working. It wants to level itself. This is in self level mode. You can see how the control service is trying to level itself. I'll be flying it in the full stabilised mode for sure. Because they can be a bit hard to see in the sky. See how it's wanting to level itself? They're good gyros. Works beautiful. And you see, they go up when you're on the throttle. That must just help you lift a little bit. So that's all right. Should be a beautiful flyer. Can't wait to fly it. Check this out. The brand new XK A290. F-16, looks good here out on the field, let's get in the sky. Oh, we're up. Oh, took off, beautiful. A little bit high. A little bit windy today. A bit small for the filming. Oh, it's flying perfect, straight out of the box. Oh, the wind's got it. What is, is this high rates? There's high rates now. Oh, we're going up. Wind's pushing it up. That's all right. Oh, we're all over the place. Wind's got it. Now we're right. Hope it looks good in the camera. There we stop now. A little bit windy. That's all right. Go to low rates. It might be a bit smoother. Go flat out. We're off. Not too bad. It is only one cell. Not the two cell, like his big brother. But it's good quality from XK. They're making nice planes now. Beautiful quality. I'm turning enough. Not real noisy, actually. The F-22 is a lot more noisy. This one's quieter. Won't worry the dogs at your park. Sometimes it wants to drop a little bit there. Must be the wind. Pity we've got no stunt button on these. That's a shame. Bit all over the place. Half for the filming. Oh no! That was no good, was it? We'll have another go. Yeah, well, I just broke the nose off. So that's a shame. Let's get in the sky again. 
takes off beautiful. How are we flying? I want to dip a little bit. I just um, adjusted the clevises on the back horns to the lower hull. Just to make it not so sensitive in the high rates because I do like the high rates. Was it just that little bit too sensitive? So I think it's flying better now. A bit more smoother. Well, just when you let go of the stick, it just bobs up and down a bit. Bit of a shame. It's just yeah, it's just when you let go of your your right stick. Just want to bob a little bit. Just the gyro fighting you a little bit. Let out. Oh, we go straight up. Because when you push down the throttle, the back tail control surfaces do go up to push you up in the air. But I don't like that. Oh, oh, oh. Because it goes up and then you've got to push it down to try and level it off you know but that's the gyro for you pity it's not two cell i thought it would have been but that's all right it's a nice looking plane whoop yeah i just it's not smooth in that coming out of those turns. Come around, it's just not smooth. That's smoother for some reason. Because the wind's dropped off a bit. We've lost the wind a bit, so that's smoother. Maybe it is the wind just tossing a bit. The wind's coming back. I don't know, that time it bobbed. Maybe the, it doesn't like the wind. It just wants to drop all of a sudden, coming out of that turn. I'm guessing it's the wind. But the shame, it's just. You're fighting the gyro a bit. Just wants to drop. That's at like 60% throttle. Just cruising around nice. Just wants to dip. Not real smooth. Let out. Just fighting it a little bit. It seems like I'm fighting it all the time. Hopefully it picks up on the camera. Because they're bobbing around all over the place. Well been flying for a while. Might get a bit longer flight time out of this one. It's not a brushless engine like the F-22, which is what they call a cordless engine, which is brushed, isn't it? Definitely not as fast, but it's still good fun. This doesn't seem as stable. I think it's got a different board in it too, different gyro. It says you can plug these S-Bus receivers into it so you can bind to it with any radio so I'm guessing there's a completely different gyro board in it different frequency we got some dogs
sliding in the wind. With no nose on it. Whoop, I'll sit. We're off. Flat out. The wind's helping it. That's good enough. We'll come around and bring it in for landing. Remember to land into the wind. Oh, here we go. Thanks for watching.